All right, so Logan Paul has pretty much just had any bit of credibility and reputation he had left stripped away from him after this one. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, Logan Paul is suing CoffeeZilla, who is an investigation YouTuber that made many videos about Logan Paul's multiple scams. Logan has promoted a ton of pump and dumps in the past, but the most notable one is CryptoZoo, which is supposed to be some NFT game which his fans lost multiple millions of dollars in. After CoffeeZilla made these videos about Logan, Logan thanked him for it. However, only a few days ago, CoffeeZilla uploaded Logan Paul sued me. In this video, CoffeeZilla shows how after messaging Logan for a response about refunding CryptoZoo victims, giving him 24 hours for a comment, he ended up getting a lawsuit sent to his email instead. Now the first part of this video is just absolutely hilarious. Now the first part of this video I just find absolutely hilarious. And it's pretty much how in this lawsuit it says that Logan Paul has quote, learnt the importance of accountability. This lawsuit says Logan Paul wants to hold me accountable for my actions. But what actions are those? Holding him accountable? It's ironic because his lawyers claim Logan has learned to believe in the importance of accountability. Yeah, this is just absolutely not true at all. Logan has not learned the importance of accountability at all. That is just a straight up lie. Don't believe almost anything that's in this lawsuit. Like seriously, Logan apparently learning the importance of accountability is like Chris Tyson learning the importance of not talking to children. Like it's just not true at all. And it's a complete lie. And we'll get into why that's the case later on. But just for now, like just know that that is a straight up lie. Logan does not care about about taking accountability, all he cares about is making this situation go away in the easiest way possible. For those that didn't know, Logan Paul has to pretty much personally hand out $20 million to these people who, you know, his, his, his game has scammed. This crypto zoo game scammed about $20 million out of people. And with Logan Paul's wealth, you know, him having Prime and all these other side companies like, you know, WWE contracts and stuff like that, it shouldn't really be that hard for Logan to actually do this. But yeah, bro, he's not taking accountability for any of this. He's instead shifting this blame onto others. He's been sitting here blaming the government for this. He's been sitting here blaming other people that were apparently managing the crypto zoo game. When in reality, it's his game. He's the one who released it. He promoted it. So he should be taking accountability. Now there is some unseen footage that I'm about to show you in, from CoffeeZilla's video, which is actually pretty funny. It's pretty much that Logan has been praising CoffeeZilla for over a year now for his investigation, but then ended up having a change of heart. And you know, that's why we're here today talking about why, how he's suing him. This journalist, YouTuber, crypto uncoverer guy named CoffeeZilla, who's f incredible, by the way. A very thorough, um, good-hearted, smart guy did a deep dive into this project that I attempted to make called CryptoZoo. That's right, it's Logan Paul. He's the biggest enemy of Logan Paul's defamation case. Who knew? Because defamation requires actual malice and a reckless disregard for the truth. But he just admitted on camera that I am thorough and good hearted. Maybe that's why he wanted to remove that video from the internet, according to the YouTuber who released it. The only issue that was ever communicated was remove this crypto stuff, remove this crypto zoo stuff. If crypto zoo is in there, if CoffeeZilla is in there, I'm not going to promote it. Yeah, remove that crypto zoo stuff, that CoffeeZilla stuff. Doesn't look good when you compliment the guy you're trying to sue. So that right there just kind of shows how Logan has really just been trying to save face for the longest time now. He's been dilly-dallying for ages now between hating CoffeeZilla and loving him depending on what mood he's in. I mean, he went from saying things like we've just seen right there, like he's a good-hearted, smart man, to apparently now he needs to be held accountable for his actions and needs to be sued. Which, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what those actions are, to be honest with you. I don't think CoffeeZilla has done any anything wrong. All he's done is expose you for scamming people. Now, next, CoffeeZilla describes what Logan is actually suing him for. Maybe that's why Logan isn't even suing me for my original investigation at all, despite most of this lawsuit being a ridiculous fanfic about how I took Logan out of context, that Logan was a victim, that I withheld text messages. Logan isn't suing me for any of the original investigation, though, because he knows he can't. Instead, at the end of the lawsuit, we find what my defamation really is. I'm being sued for two videos and one tweet where I advocated for refunds for the victims. So, I mean, this is where this gets really messed up. Logan isn't even suing CoffeeZilla for his original series. He's suing him because he's holding Logan accountable and telling him to give the victims a full refund. Kind of funny, in my opinion, considering we just saw how Logan has apparently, quote, learned the importance of accountability. Let's cut the crap, Logan. You don't care about accountability. You care about how the situation is going to go away without you solving it. Now, these videos that CoffeeZilla made about Logan that he's being sued for are literally just him 
exposing that Logan Paul's refund that he tried to put on after the fact was complete crap and didn't cover all of the victims like I said before. He should be refunding about $20 million to the victims and apparently he only did about 10% of that. And now he's apparently also taking the CryptoZoo victims to court that are speaking out about this. It really just seems like at this point that all these huge YouTubers only have one way to respond to criticism. It used to be that they just make a video, you know, responding to the situation or making a tweet about it, responding on Twitter. But now you've got people like Mr. Beast and Logan Ball using their immense wealth to hire lawyers to take care of it instead of just actually responding and just silencing people instead. Which I just absolutely hate, might I just say. It's completely despicable when YouTubers do that. I thought YouTubers were supposed to be about the people. You're supposed to be supporting other creators and, you know, making YouTube look like a good place. But you got people like Mr. Beast and Logan Paul sending out season and desist and lawsuits and all this stuff. It's just ridiculous in my opinion. I seriously don't understand why we've gotten to that point as YouTubers. And especially when you know that you're in the wrong, like Logan Paul is. Now, an important thing to mention that CoffeeZilla mentions in this video is that even if you consider and say, oh, well, CryptoZoo isn't that bad, which I mean, it just is, there's no denying that. There are also many other scams, like I mentioned before, that Logan has promoted to his audience in the past. Many different pump and dump schemes, many different, you know, crypto coins that he's released that have just turned out to be complete crap. There's been so much other stuff that he's done. But isn't Logan richer than ever with Prime? And did he have a reputation to harm? His lawsuit shows comments calling Logan a scammer, possibly to suggest he's been hurt by my videos, but you have to have a reputation to lose one. And by the time of my reporting in question, Logan Paul was already accused of participating in multiple crypto pump and dump schemes. That article does not reference my work. So Logan had already had a reputation as a scammer before my investigation at least if you believe their allegations. So yeah, that's a good reason as to why Logan Paul is just gonna fall flat on his face throughout this lawsuit. And later on, Coffey says that he doesn't think that Logan is actually doing this lawsuit to try and win. He's pretty much just trying to do it to scare CoffeeZilla and spook him into not releasing a series about him. Because I mean, you can't be defamed if you never had a good reputation to begin with. And besides, CoffeeZilla isn't lying about anything here. He's done a thorough investigation, like you've admitted that he's done, and now when he won't stop pressing you to make things right, Right, you want to threaten him by suing him? God, bro, this stuff is really just making Logan Paul look absolutely terrible. And now completely separate from this CoffeeZilla video, apparently Logan Paul and KSI are now being sued for Prime for over $60 million. So uh, yeah, bro, this Logan Paul stuff does not end with this video. I have so much more to talk about, but that's a whole separate video that I have to cover it in. So yeah, if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel right now. Click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.